1991, I was arrested and subsequently convicted of second degree robbery. And then again in 1994, I was arrested and convicted of conspiracy to distribute cocaine base, which is just selling crack. You see, in, when I was 13, two weeks before my 14th birthday, my dad was stabbed by my stepmom. Two weeks later was my 14th birthday, and I was given an ultimatum that I can go live with my mom and keep all my family, or if I decide to stay, my mom would disown me. My dad couldn't put his shoes on by himself. He was recovering from this stabbing. And so I'd made a choice to stay with my dad. And at that point, my whole world changed. It's like, it's really different what I, I went through. Um, I had the ability to walk through the valley of the shadow of death and fear no evil. I had the ability to see life from the inside of prison, but not experience it the same way everybody else did to trust God through the whole process of learning and growing. Again, there was fears, there was doubts, there was um, things that I never thought that I would experience, but at the same time, I knew I wasn't in control. I knew that it, whatever was gonna happen in my life was gonna take place. I, the people that came around me and helped me become better, um, 85% of them, I know it's an arbitrary number, but a high percentage of them were incarcerated. There are people doing life who uh, took me under their wing and started sharing with me um, life and, and different things that if they could do it all over again, what they would do. Um, there was um, the training ground inside of prison. You can go two different ways, and I was very fortunate to have people who who wanted to see me live.